What's up? It's Big Bad Bard. We're playing Enter the Gungeon. Welcome back. Let's see how many, uh, what do we still need? 29 gut nuts. Still not finding a whole lot of those. We got stout bullets and roll bombs. Let's pick up the stout bullets. And, uh, did we find another Gunsling King challenge on the last one? Amusement is prime currency, blah blah blah, shuffle off. Okay, he's got nothing. Um, so we could do a challenge run, but since we're playing as the robot... No thanks. <laughs> I'll pass, thanks. Um, robot's hard enough with his stupid health. Or not health. So we're just gonna play it straight and narrow on this. Oh! Alright, start off with a chest. Why not? I mean, on the first floor, you'd kind of be a fool not to take one of these challenge shrines. Like, why? Why not? First floor? Especially first room? Hell yeah. That's how I like to start it. On the first floor, like, you know, the enemies aren't that bad. Even the worst enemies aren't that bad. God damn it. I got hit there, huh? Alright. I didn't expect there to be three waves of enemies. That's a little much. But I guess I can't complain. They are going to give us a chest for it. Hopefully it's, you know, a decent quality. And hopefully it's unlocked. I'm pretty sure they're always unlocked from this. Blue chest, not great. Silver bullets, I think, is extra damage against bosses? Massively increased damage to the jammed. And somewhat effective against bosses. Okay. That makes sense. I guess the jammed would be, like, undead, sort of? I don't know. I don't know, this game's weird. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out by now, what have you been watching for the last 40 episodes? This game... This game gets just a little... A little wonky, I guess. Some of the ways, you know, different guns interact, or... Different passives interact with different guns gets a little strange. Real goofy, real fun sometimes. But overall, this game is... Let's be real here. This game is weird. Right? <laughs> this isn't... I, I was gonna say, this isn't Mario, which is a normal video game. Nah, Mario's weird too. You're an Italian plumber who is rescuing a princess from a guy that is basically... I, I mean, it's a turtle dinosaur kappa. Right? Mario's pretty weird too. I, uh, I guess what would be a normal video game? Uh, sports games. <laughs> and by sports games I mean like sports that are rooted in reality and not, you know, I, I guess you could say Rocket League is a sports game or uh, I'd even say like NFL The Blitz going back to like PS2, Xbox, uh, original Xbox era. Um, oh, we could do a... Sp oh, no, no, no. We're the robot. Why would we want the spice? Sixth chamber, though, is interesting. I'm pretty sure that gives you health, though. Huh. I don't know. We'll come back to that in a moment. We'll, we'll figure some stuff out and then maybe come back to the, uh, to the shop situation. Because we are a little bit equipped to, um, to handle jammed enemies with the silver bullets. Anyways, what I was saying was, like, I wouldn't consider NFL The Blitz to be a realistic sports game. It's absolutely not. If you've ever played it, you know what I'm talking about. But it's like uber aggressive. Um, or I'm sorry, what's did I say NFL The Blitz? No, no, it's uh, Blitz The League. That's what I'm talking about. And I know they've made like some other... I know they made like a sequel to a Blitz The League 2 or something. Um, but it was like uber violent, I guess. Like, anytime someone got injured, it, like, zoomed in and showed you, like, the x-ray version of it. I wouldn't really consider it a realistic sports game. <laughs> Some of the stuff you could do and get away with in it was was not realistic. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'd just say, like, a normal sports game uh, would be the closest thing to a normal video game. We'll throw this down just kind of because. Why not? Okay, and it opened up right back by the shop. Um, I'm basically, I'm just trying to remember what exactly Sixth Chamber does. 
Because I get it confused with the yellow chamber all the time. And that's why I'm not really sure what the yellow chamber does either. <laughs> Uh, well, no, no, I know what Yellow Chamber does. We just got it on a run. Um, so I'm, I'm familiar with that one right now. What am I looking at here? Uh, green chest is interesting. I kind of might want that. Um, sorry, I'm like... Just trying to chug coffee, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> so I keep pausing for moments. Alright. Bullet King. Should not be too bad. Let's take out his little buddy. Make sure he's not gonna be a trouble for us. Okay. Got through that attack. We have our blanks ready to go. In case he does some funky stuff on us. Oh, why did I not? I didn't... I could have blanked, I could have dodge rolled, I could have probably just stepped over an inch. Um, I just didn't. Like I said, that, uh, that's why I'm chugging coffee. Ooh, that one was really bad. I'm real tempted to just start this over. Yeesh. Uh, but nah, I, I think we'll persevere. Um, I do think this means I'm going to skip the oubliette, though. I'm not feeling too good about that. take the shorter path through the game. Alright, Devolver is uh, kind of cool. Um, how much does this cost? 45. So I can get that, but then I can't get a key. Unicorn Horn I don't really care about. That's fine. Um, I'll take it, just so we can see what it is. Cal Blessing of Caliber. Feeds upon curse. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know what this does. It's a uh, coolness. Why did I do that? Uh, coolness increases with curse. It's something to do with with that, with your like coolness stat. Uh, the devolver is kind of a weird gun. I'm gonna pop open this green chest. Uh, it basically changes enemies. God damn it, the heart locket. It didn't even give us an armor. That sucks. Um, I guess the secret room could still be in the elevator room up here. Oh, uh, that's really annoying. Of course we got the heart locket. Why wouldn't we? Is it not going to be in here? No? Alright, I'll pop it in the shop. Just to see. I don't expect it to be in here. Nope. Okay. Just move on down. Oh, uh, the Devolver is interesting. It basically changes enemies. Um, uh, it changes enemies into weaker enemies. So, like, some of the higher level enemies, uh, not really higher level, but higher form enemies will turn into, like, shotgun kin, and then the shotgun kin will turn into, like, these little cavemen. Or, no, no, they turn into those bullets, and then these bullets turn into the little cavemen bullets. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, actually, you know, since we have coolness increases with curse, it might not be bad to take on a couple of curse. We got one curse level from picking up that item. Uh, actually, we may have gotten more. We got one curse from picking it up from her shop. It probably increases your curse also. Uh, that's not... That doesn't go all the way through. The doi. Okay. Oh, god. I know exactly what this room is. <clears throat> There's gonna be a lead maiden and, uh... Oh, uh, what's it called? A little shaman dude. Yeah, sneak in there before he can do anything too crazy. Ooh, I got hit. Let's see if, yeah, he turns into, uh, looked like he turned into one of the poison shotgun dudes. The green ones. I guess they're not, eh, they're kind of poisony. Oh, that was a weird little drifting shot that he 
took there. Okay. B -b -b oh, this dude's name? I I kept forgetting to like look it up. His name's Bello. B-E-L-L-O. Use a teleporter, come back, spend some more. Okay. Um, probably do want that key. Because I don't really want the snowballer, don't really want the little bomber. I see myself wanting a key, though. Even if the game gave, gave us two keys right off of that here, I... Oh, shit! That's, that's our guy. I need to be real careful. Uh... Super nervous here. Super nervous. I'm just glad he's not getting hit by enemy bullets. But like, I this little flame guy catches on fire when he dies. I need to make sure that our hero bullet over there is nowhere near the fire. There we go. That that helps a little bit. So no matter what, this run is not a waste. <laughs> as long as I don't kill this dude right here. This little, this little bullet buddy. I'm feeling good. Yeah, uh, there we go. Teleported to the great beyond or whatever. Uh, I would not mind getting rid of the devolver. So maybe I'll just use some of the ammo here and... Maybe we'll find another gun to... That we also don't give a shit about. Something we can use on the boss to just get rid of the ammo and get value out of it. And then trade two empty crappy guns for maybe something a little better with full ammo. I know I'm not using this optimally, but I'm also not really trying to use it optimally. Um, I guess we'll just open it. And that is Unity. Oh, snap. That's our Captain Planet ring right there. Uh, so that kind of changes things. Um, <laughs> we do want more guns now. We want as many guns as possible. It gives you a damage boost for every gun that you have. Increased combat effectiveness per gun. This ring takes a small amount of power from each gun carried and... Oh, each gun carried and adds it to the currently equipped gun. So it takes like... It's not much. I think it's like 2 or 3% damage from each weapon you're carrying. Um, and then just adds that to each shot that you let off. So yeah, the more guns we can amass here the way better off we're going to be. Huh, I will take a blank, thank you. Uh, I should probably be smarter about this than just running into the middle of the room. Let the room do the work for me. Okay. We don't have a lot of health. That's very obvious and fairly common with the robot. Um, at least for me, I feel like. I feel like I'm always running on empty with this dude. Oh man, and we found it so early too. This is, yeah, well, it's only the second floor. I'm so happy we found that, uh, caped bulletkin. I think that's three, maybe even number four that we've rescued. It's about the 20th one we've seen. But I'm talking rescued here. <laughs> We could see them all day and still end up killing half of them. <laughs> or all of them. Well, I say, I, I, I'd kill half and then they the other half would just kill themselves. I very nearly started shooting at that one that we ended up seeing. Very glad that I didn't. Uh, well, I'm glad I didn't kill it. I'm not glad that I shot it a few times. It's close. Alright, so here's another gun nut for the for the hunt. I'm getting there, still need 20-something. <laughs> Damn near 30. We started at 29, and I think that's the second or third one we've killed. Uh, brown chest? I don't really care about. It is going to be a gun. That's something worth noting. Oh, and we do have a key back here. So we might as well. glad we don't have to buy one from the shop. Uh, well, we did we already buy one from the shop? No, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll figure it out in a second. I'm going to go back to the shop and see if they have any armor for sale. Because I just don't recall. Uh, we do have our active item 
ready to go. Damn, the wind-up gun is perfect for gun munching, too. Okay, it looks like we did buy a key. Uh, Snowballer and Lil' Bomber. Lil' Bomber, I wouldn't mind picking up. The shots do a lot of damage, so I imagine it would add a lot of damage to the rest of what we've got going on here. Uh, I am just going to use the rest of these shots. And then we'll work on the wind-up gun. Um, yeah, this is fine. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I got I got caught a little bit off guard there. I don't know why. Or how, even. Okay. I think I've got my shit under control now. Uh, wind-up gun, the first shot... Or, like, you know, the earlier in the clip you are, the more damage it's going to do. Um, so it's one of the guns that you actually benefit from reloading early and often. Unfortunately, it does take a while to reload. So that's something you kind of have to keep in mind with it. Alright. Out of blanks. Almost out of health. <laughs> Alright, got that dude taken care of. He's almost out of health too, though. That's a thing worth noting. I'm only one hit away from death, but he's only a couple hits away. Oh my god, so close. Come on. I don't even care about the missiles. Just shoot him. Woo! That was not too bad. Uh, we did take one hit, which kind of sucks. We got the mahogany, which is totally fine. Um, I'll take the wind-up gun ammo, honestly. I think that's probably better. Then we will come up here and buy the little bomber. And that's basically just for Unity. I don't plan on using the little bomber at all. Um, oh, I guess there's not really a point in searching for the secret room if I have no way of opening it with blanks. Uh, actually, the little bomber might open secret rooms. I'll have to search for one and check that out. I know items like the the bomb, the active item, the bomb, can open secret rooms, so I wonder if Lil' Bomber can. It's basically the same thing. I don't know how the game codes stuff like that, though. If it codes it as a bullet or as a, as a bomb. Uh, a little jammed dude over here. First one we've seen so far. Ugh, a red heart, a full heart is so worthless. <laughs> Why? Why must you do this to me on my robot runs? That is not the first red heart that's dropped either. Let's not forget the several that were on the first two floor. The I know there were a bunch on the first floor. At least a heart and a half worth of health. <clears throat> Got like one armor drop ever. <laughs> and it was from a boss. Um, crap. I still, I keep forgetting that I still need to do the, uh, killing enemies with the minecart. Not with the minecart, while riding in a minecart. <laughs> That's probably going to be something I just do off camera. I'll just, like, spam a bunch of runs where I just take the elevator straight down to the third floor. Um, and then die as soon as... Uh, as soon as I have all the ele er, uh, minecart kills I can get. That's how I see it going anyways, just to kind of streamline the process. Okay. It's kind of a weird corner of the, the floor. Looking for... Mo guns! Give me some guns. Give me some chests full of guns. I don't even care what they are. Honestly, I don't. It could be a gun I'm never going to use, as long as it does damage. If it does damage and is something really good that I can use, I mean, I guess that's more ideal, but... I'll just take the devolver ammo until we finish out the wind-up gun. Uh, so what do we got? That is some sort of bullets? No, white guanstone. Kill kindles blanks. Wait, what? Increased blank regeneration, okay. 
and grants its bearer an additional... Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So it's just a guanstone, and every floor we get another blank. I thought it meant that it... Ig I guess I I took it as ignites blanks. And I was like, don't... Isn't there a... An amulet that does exactly the same thing, but doesn't block bullets? And the answer is yes and no. <laughs> the amulets do give you increased... Uh, blank regeneration. Oh, shit. Down to 1 HP. Um, and there is one that ignites your blanks, or causes your blanks to ignite enemies. Uh, this is only creating more blanks, not igniting enemies. Um, shit. Which dude is it? There we go. Managed to get him before he could do too much there. Um... Yeah, I need to get out of that corner. I'm curious about the Devolver with jammed enemies. Do they stay jammed? I'll have to try that out. Uh, there's the key, so we might as well visit the shop right here before picking up that key. We do know that the next item room we come across is going to be... Um, it's going to be a gun, so we want to open that. And looks like that item room is going to be just over here to the left of us. Just got to work our way around to it. I imagine it's going to be this way and not uh, through the top of the of the shop. Um, I didn't look. Was there armor in there? Because if there was, I want it. Scratch that. Need. <laughs> Need it. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn ghosts. Tricky jerks. Uh, yeah, you can stay over there and just kind of die, please. That'd be great. I'm going to run over towards this door and then teleport to the shop, just to save us some steps, I guess. Uh, okay, so nothing armor-wise in the shop, and that's why I was looking for it. Damn. Alright, well that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter one, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it anyways. If you did, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to get notified of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications, you'll get a little buzz every time. I post a new video, which is basically every day. Uh, you can also check me out on my live stream at twitch.tv slash bigbadbardmedia. If I'm not streaming when you get there, go ahead and click that follow button so that you get a notification when I do go live. And if you want to get notified of my videos and my live stream, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I post it every time on there. Go ahead and hit me up on there if you want to start a conversation. I'm down to talk as well. So go ahead, do all of those things, and come on back for the next video. I'll see you next time.